morning routines. YouTubers love it. There are countless morning routine videos. Everyone gets up at 5 am and waters their flowers. I am not one of them. Instead of following routines, I build routines for myself. I want to tell you how I do this. When we wake up in the morning, our brains don't work very well. We cannot think fast and make rational decisions. While it takes 2 minutes to plan what you will wear that day in the evening, if you leave it in the morning, you can linger for 20 minutes. For this reason, we must have a routine in order to spend the morning hours productively. After determining the routine, we should stick to our routine without dealing with thoughts like should I do this or that. These thoughts not only waste time but also reduce our willpower. It's a very important term, which I will explain later. Who wins the morning wins the day, don't forget that. As a person who hates getting up early, I can say this, it really matters. I do my own business, so I can set my bedtime and wake up time as I want. Although I also love to sleep, I usually get up at 8 am. When I wake up later, the feeling of being left behind comes down and reduces my motivation. As a weightlifter with great biceps, I take care to sleep 8 hours. As soon as I get up, I drink half a liter of water. Then I immediately run to the mirror and check my six packs. If I am still sleepy and have trouble waking up, I throw myself out. I go out on the balcony or outside and update my biological clock with daylight. Our first impression is formed within 27 seconds of meeting someone. Every morning, we meet a new day and starting with positive emotions is very important for it to continue in the same way. It is difficult to achieve this in today's world, but there are a few tactics that I use. We pick up the phone as soon as we wake up. I'm not gonna say don't look at the phone, I'm looking too. But we have been getting bad news lately, economy on the one hand, environmental problems on the other hand, and these are making us gloomy. And you know what? We don't need to follow them instantly. That's why I turned off notifications of news apps. I also recommend it to you. Secondly, I read a book about gratitude. Even though it doesn't make much sense, I started practicing it and I continue because it feels good. The logic is this. The things that go wrong in our lives and our shortcomings are constantly in our minds, narrowing us. But we only realize the good in our life when we lose it. We don't know the value of our knees until we get injured. So every morning, we sit for a few minutes and think of three things to be thankful for. At first, you may think that I can't find much, but when you try, you will find hundreds of items and you will feel good. Willpower The power to do something. To define it better, the power abstain from short-term pleasures for long-term gains. For example, you want to eat a donut and it will give you short-term pleasure. If you use your willpower and don't eat it, you can have a shredded goddamn body on the long run. Our willpower is limited and diminishes as we make new decisions throughout the day and get tired. Therefore, while it is at its highest level in the morning, it decreases to the lowest level in the evening. This is the biggest reason why diets break down in the evening. When we have a morning routine, we need to make fewer decisions and we don't waste our willpower on making unnecessary choices. There is one more area where we will use this, planning the day. I used to keep my to-do list very long. For me, this was never ending, always growing by rolling over to the next day. As I gained experience, I reduced this. I no longer exceed 3 to 4 items a day. I use an application called Tuxedoks. It is a simple and useful application. I read a book called Eat That Frog. In summary, the writer wants us to think that when we wake up every morning, there is a pool full of frogs in front of our house. These frogs are tasks we have to do. We have to eat them all one by one, but we never find enough time to eat them all. Some are small and cute, while the others are big and very ugly, just like the things we have to do. We instinctively take the easy way out and linger with the little frogs. The big ones are left, but those big and ugly frogs are the ones which will really improve us. 
Therefore, instead of starting the day with small, easy, unimportant tasks, he advises us to start with difficult, boring, but useful tasks. So I pick up the ugliest frog for each day and eat it as the first thing in the morning. As soon as it's over, there is both a relief and increasing motivation. Please try it. Eat that frog. I usually don't have breakfast because I am on intermittent fasting diet for 5 years. I only eat when I'm going out and won't have a chance to eat for a long time. For breakfast, I choose 3 alternatives for myself and choose whichever one I want. Since I don't eat breakfast very often, I can continue with the same alternatives for months without getting bored. If I want to try something different, I add it to my alternatives. Intermittent fasting both saves time in the morning, helps me focus and facilitates my appetite control. Although it's a diet that I love and benefit from, I do not recommend it to those who have tried it for two weeks and have not felt suitable. I do my final checks in the morning for my meals for the rest of the day. If I don't have a ready food in the fridge, I don't wait until noon and prepare it in the morning. Otherwise, preparing a meal after 16 hours of hunger turns into a complete torture, increasing my risk of ordering very trash, unhealthy junk food. About 2 hours after I wake up, I start brewing my coffee. I postponed my morning coffee because our adrenaline and cortisol levels are naturally high in the morning. After a few hours, these hormone levels begin to drop. At this very moment, we can support fat burning by increasing it again with coffee. Another benefit of postponing coffee is rewarding yourself after starting the day with the most boring test. When we make this a habit, coffee becomes a good reward to finish a boring task early. I do not exceed 2 cups a day. I am hindering myself. I say hindering because I am an insane caffeine addict. As you can see, I didn't train in the morning. I didn't start the day with a cold shower. These routines we hear all the time did not suit me. I tried both. I did my training in the morning for a month. I did not like my performance and I stopped when I realized that I could not continue anymore. When I take my shower in the morning, my head freezes because my hair is long. So I take it in the evening. Trying different routines is fun and absolutely necessary. We won't know until we try. But if we can't get used to it after two weeks of trying, there is no point to continue. We should not try to follow ready-made routines, but to create our own routines.